Just in my garage with my new Lamborghini. Yeah, I like to drive it up the hills. Beverly Hills. But you know what I like driving more than this fast Lamborghini in Beverly Hills with billionaires and multimillionaires and entrepreneurs? Knowledge. See, knowledge is super underrated. The more you learn, the more you earn. The earning potential is a lot further if you consume more knowledge, but how many people are really doing that and taking the time to learn more? See, I like to buy these books and- Yo, 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 my green screen, what are you doing? Yo, what the f are you doing? Hold it up, bro. I asked you to do one thing all the time. Happen. It won't happen again. Just hold it up straight, bro. Now I gotta redo this shit. Uh, now we gotta do another take. Take, mm, this is like 28. <sighs> Just here in my garage. What's good, YouTube? Today I want to talk about financial gurus. <laughs> These gurus must be stopped and should not be listened to. I feel like growing up, we have all seen that iconic video. If you don't know, the original creator of that video, his name is Ty Lopez. Knowledge. I don't know what he's doing now. He could be on a vacation. He could be finessing people right now. Who knows? That video was so iconic back then. As a kid, I was watching that and I was like, I felt a little inspired, but I was hesitant. But I didn't know better because I was a little kid. But this guy in particular started it all. This man right here. Here in my garage, just bought this uh, new Lamborghini here. Fun to drive up here in the Hollywood Hills. Knowledge. Oh, brother. Well, these gurus, they like to drop their little keywords that get the working class and the middle class and the lower class. You get excited when you hear it. You're like, oh shit, that seems unattainable. He looks like he knows what he's saying and he looks really rich. Wow, what the fuck? But then when you hear those key words, you're infatuated. You're excited when you hear those words and you want to pay attention to what they say. Hold up, he might drop some gems. In fact, I'm a lot more proud of these seven new bookshelves that I had to get installed to hold 2,000 new books that I bought. I guarantee you half these books he didn't even read. Shit, I got books right there that I haven't even read yet, but I got it right there because I'm gonna read later, but later has been like three years now. Shit, we, do, do we all do that? Is it just me? I read from here like maybe three max. And this dude out here is saying 2,000 books. I read all of these. Did you really read a book called Hell Riders? Did you really read a book called 1001 Books? Did you? Or did you just thrift this? Because I thrifted some of my books that I planned on reading, but I never got to reading. It was been two years, three years. Have you really read a book called Rock and Roll, buddy? Have you really? These are 2,000 books. You read all these books, and this, these books helped you attain the Lamborghini, really? Bro, come on, man. The more you learn, now, the more you earn. Maybe you TEDx talk where I talk about how I read a book a day. Cap. You know, I read a book a day not to show off. It's a cap about the knowledge. In fact, the real reason I keep this Lamborghini here is that it's a reminder that dreams are still possible because it wasn't that long ago sleeping on a couch in a mobile home with only $47 in my bank account. <gasps> I didn't have a college degree. I had no opportunities. See, for every two lies he just told there, there might have been one truth. Like, there might have been a truth. There might have been a truth. Actually, genuinely, I do want to give him the benefit of the doubt. But for some reason, my heart is telling me this dude is scamming. He's lying. He's playing an act. These gurus, they play an act. They put on a front. They're great manipulators. You see, he almost manipulated me just now. This isn't a get-rich-quick scheme. But what I am telling you is it can happen faster than you think if you know the proven steps. The proven steps? So, I record a little two-minute video on my website. Wow. So, click the link. Go there, it's completely free to watch wow, it. It's just a couple it. minutes. Invest in yourself. They'll say invest in yourself, but you gotta go tap into my website. Then you go into the website, and the website is a two minute ad video saying to access the full video, you have to pay $99 <laughs> monthly subscription plan, hop in and have a dialogue with them and get coached by him. It's all bullshit, man. They use this to funnel their lifestyle, literally. The people that are like, dang, this guy's killing it. He was just so vulnerable with me. Oh my gosh, wow, this guy is so real. Then they'll go to a website, watch a two minute ad, get even more sold and be like, okay, I need to pay this guy's subscription or pay for this course. They'll buy the course and then they'll learn that the course is just teaching them more bullshit that they could have had access to on the internet for free. It's a whole loop, but then guess what? This guy just made money off of that and he's doing it at scale at home while chilling. It's genius for him, I give him that, bro. But for the people getting played, I feel bad because it's like easy information. You know how I know this? Cause I was a victim! Not his course in particular, but a different guru. When I was in high school, I got played. I, I read Rich Dad Porter and I got too excited and I bought somebody's course for $50 and it was like the seven different type of incomes. And I looked at it, it was like passive income, rental income, 
residual income, dividend income. It was like income, income. Whole time, I just Googled Wikipedia and different income showed up. I'm like, damn. I just spent 50 bucks while I was a high schooler, right? And keep in mind, in high school, like most of us, I'm assuming, don't have money, right? So I, I was like, dang, I got to invest in myself. Right, right, I got to invest in myself. And I invested in myself only to find out I was in more debt. How the fuck I invested in myself and go in more debt with no return, no ROI, and this free information on, on Wikipedia and Google? You know how sick I was when I realized I got played? I just don't want this to happen to anybody else. What business have these gurus built is what you got to ask them. Not like, oh, I helped this business do $2 million in revenue. How? What business? What did you do? Where's the proof? If they really cared, they would give away the information for free. That's not real. That's for somebody else. Don't listen. Don't listen. Be an optimist. Like... Conrad Hilton. Optimism. Vision. Big dreams. Goals. Self-worth. Faith. Hope. Like, this is shit that we all know. Like, no dip, like, Sherlock. We all want more knowledge, and knowledge is good for you. Like, if it's, like, credible knowledge. He's just restating some, a fact that we all know, but packaging it in a way, like, we don't know it. And then trying to act like he has good intent behind it. I can't watch this anymore. I can't watch this. The 67 steps to finding the good life. Wow. You know, people ask me why I bought it. And it's definitely not to show off. I wanted to remind myself of a dream. A dream of financial freedom. I'm going to tell you the secret so that you can buy a Lamborghini too. You want to know what it is? Knowledge. Drop out of college. He went on a tour tangent in his garage with a Lamborghini part with a whiteboard full of different words and freaking words of affirmation. And he's talking about like innovation and elevation and name dropping other celebrities and businessmen and people that have done real businesses. Two small group calls a month completely included wow. in this program. The people that are coming in that find that's just like supercharges the success. The online... Wow, so if we all tap into his program which is two calls a month or two calls a week, so fuck off, after your five minute little Zoom call or freaking FaceTime, we're all gonna just take off, guys, from his program. Oh my gosh, no way people believe this shit. Like, oh my gosh. I'm getting a headache just like, just feeling bad for all the people that he freaking finessed multiple times too. Like, this is all shit that we can all just Google or you go to your local masjid or you can go to your lo local church and they'll give you the same optimistic messages and shit about how to do life and this, that. I can sit down and just talk to everybody, every one of my followers too and give bullshit messages like, you gotta work harder. Mm-hmm, that's the problem. And you gotta optimize the optimism. Oh, these gurus need to be stopped. New types of people are going to be attracted to you. They're going to want to be near you, talk oh, yeah. to you, spend oh, yeah, time guys. with you. Uh -huh. This is true even if you're already in a relationship. You're about to get a big boost. Like, like this is how he thinks people are going to react to this as they're watching right now. Like, as he's saying all this stuff, this is how he expects us to react to this. I was recently reading that almost 50% of divorce and breakups are about money. But you're going to need these tips to keep money 50 from accidentally harming your love life. Not just money, but success overall. If you're not careful, you can intimidate and push people away. But there is a handbook, Whoa. and I'm going to give you this handbook. I need the handbook. I need it. I need it. I need it. Put my credit card. Like, that, that's two hours of just going in circles saying shit that we all already know. That's just the beginning. That's just one of many. This is, this is the guy that fooled me right here. I bought one of his seminars when I was in high school. Maybe it was like my junior year of high school. And it was like the different levels of income and how you could level up and blah, 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 blah. And 10 extra income. 10x. His big thing was 10x. Like a go-to slang or like a, a, a phrase like Nike. Like, just do it. This guy, his was like 10x. Bezos thought about being a billionaire before he became a billionaire. Musk. Elon Musk, there they go, see? I could do the same shit with the music. Bill Gates. Mark Zuckerberg. Mark Cuban. Floyd Mayweather. Jake Paul. Logan Paul. Duke Dennis. What do these people all have in common? They all thought they were gonna make it. 
They all believed what no one believed. They all had a dream. A big dream. You gotta go all in! You gotta go all in! Because you might miss your opportunity. Passive income. Residual income. Rental income? Dividend income. 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 Buy my program and I'll give you two more income bonuses more knowledge if you want it. I hope people can feel the cringe and stupidity through what just happened. Like that's what they all look and sound like when they try to do that dramatic bullshit. And look at these people. These people are like the VIP members that paid, God forbid, a couple thousand, like their rent's worth or whatever, or like they're, they're, they're nodding here and, and writing down notes like, I can do it. Like these are all good things to hear. Don't get me wrong. We all need to be positive and optimistic and have self-belief and faith. I believe in all that. But for this guy to put out in the front and say the stuff that people already know and then charge them a lot of money for this stuff, it's just ridiculous and unfair to me. There's literally a countdown timer so he can just get the fuck out when it's done. Like, yep, I got my money. I don't give a fuck. Just have a monitor and count that shit down so when it's done, it's done. I can just wrap shit up and tell them goodbye and good night. Go where you need to go to get where you need to get. What? What the fuck does that mean? What are you saying? And you're charging people for this? This is the stupidest shit. You see what these financial gurus do? They must be stopped. And then you want to write this down. Pay to play. These guys pay $12,000 each to sit in that chair. They paid $12,000 to sit in that chair for three days. $12,000. You think this guy gives a f he has a timer right there waiting for that to tick. Oh my gosh, bro. My heart hurts, man, for these people. Shit, I was a victim too. Don't just buy random financial courses. At most, I would say is like buy a book or two about financial literacy or consume podcasts or YouTube videos for free. I look over there. I'm like, man, they crazy. People crazy. He literally dissed the people that bought the course for the in-person live view. Three days, I got to look at their ugly faces. He's okay? not joking. The reality is, he's, he's I don't an know asshole for that. I'm not calling them that. I'm saying he said that. Listen to me, to get to the top, to get to it, you will have to do something crazy. We, we couldn't hear you. Can you say it for the eighth time and waste another minute? I think there's only five minutes left on the clock. Can you repeat it another time? You see what they do and people are oblivious. Like, whoa, I thought they were doing the good. I thought they were helping us. No, they don't give a fuck. If they really care, like I said, they'll do it for free. If you care that much, do it for free on YouTube. You're not charging anybody and then you make money off the ads at least if they watch the video to support you. Like, do it for free then. Don't charge them. Now, let's get into another financial guru. This right here, his name is Dunlock from a private event for investors, location undisclosed. Ooh. Not a bad thing to start off with something. You're right. Okay. Wow. What I'm saying is, if you start with something, you get there a little bit faster, a little bit smoother. If you started with nothing or negative, it's going to take you a little longer. Oh my gosh. You so, oh my gosh. If you're broke, your f is gonna take a while. If you're rich, you're gonna get there a lot faster. Obviously! Can you help? Do you think I don't know that? It's like the most vague advice that we all hear from our relatives or parents. Like, oh, uh, just keep on going. It's gonna take a while, but you're gonna get there. Like, I mean, thanks, Aunt Cassandra. That was very nice, but you don't think I know that? But I appreciate those kind words anyways. There's actual people right now sitting down, like, reflecting and being like, this guy's right. What I don't fuck with is how he's packaging it in a way where, like, he's so life-changing and stuff like that, and he's charging people to come and see this. You take a person that has a million-dollar business, and you take another person that has a $100,000 business, you give the million-dollar business to the $100,000 person, what's going to happen to that million-dollar business? It's going to be $100,000. You take that hundred thousand dollar business, you give it to a million dollar person. What's gonna happen with that hundred thousand dollar business? It's gonna be a million dollar business. You take a million dollar nice. business, you give it to a ten million dollar person. What's gonna happen to that business? Ten. It's gonna be a ten million business. Wow. The million dollar person doesn't know how wow. to just make a hundred thousand dollars. Wow. It would be a challenge. You're right. I want you to imagine when you were just getting started, maybe your first job, and that you were making a lot, compared to where you are now. Are you making more? Hopefully, yes. Yeah. You're making more. And hopefully you want to make more next year, yes? What if I say to you this year, well, I don't want you to make what you're making now. I want you to make what you were making before. 
You really gotta f things up to make less. Like, oh man, I gotta work a lot less. I gotta be very bad at what I do so that I can make. You know what I'm talking about? It's the same thing. So why couldn't do it in reverse? Oh my gosh, bro! Just a bunch of A to the B to the B to the C to the A. Oh my gosh! A round of applause. <laughs> wow. Wow. I'm so happy people spent time and wasted their money and sat down and listened to this bullshit. I'm kidding. I feel f horrible. What the f is this? More of this video is a lot of people put up fronts. Don't believe in the fronts. Follow the people and listen to the people you guys think have good intentions. And just because somebody has nice materialistic things around them doesn't mean they have everything figured out. They could, but it doesn't mean everything. Just be smart with your money. Who cares what people think? Fuck what the internet has to say. Fuck what other people think. Fuck what your relatives think too sometimes. Live below your means. Be smart about life. Don't fall for these gurus. And if they really cared, they would give away the information for free. Coaching is different. And only take coaching lessons from somebody that's actually built something. But nevertheless, guys, I appreciate you guys for tuning in. And don't fall for the bullshit information and these bullshit financial gurus out there. I appreciate it. Let me know what topic you want me to dive into next. Feel free to tap into my Discord. And also, I'm going to be dropping more merch soon. I'm in the works right now. Trying to get more pieces right and developed and uh, make it look right. So yeah, I mean, if you found value in this video, leave a like, comment, um, and I appreciate you guys for tuning in. So peace!